Previously on Lightning Point. We need to figure out a way home. What's the hurry? This is getting way too dangerous. What I found, it didn't belong. Whatever it was, it's gone now. Forget no, about it. No, I definitely found something alien. Thanks for the warm welcome. Something happened here in Lightning Point the other night. The police need to know. Yeah, Lightning Point's a great place to live. Oh, I'm really glad you like it here. Oh, which reminds me, Amber, honey, when you get a chance, can you organise some school books for the girls? What do you mean? First day of semester tomorrow, remember? I've arranged with the principal for Zoe and Kiki to start school. You can show them around. School? We don't need to go to school. Oh, I used to say that myself. We're fine, really. There's nothing there we don't already know. Well, sorry, as long as you're staying in my house, you go to school. Unless you want me to call your parents. No, it's okay, Mum. Good. All right, I'll see you in the morning. I'm on night shift. Come, Paper. You're on duty too. Amber, we don't need this. We've completed our studies on Lumina. And we'll be gone soon anyway. It's a bad idea. Actually, it's a great idea. You want to go under the radar? So while you're here, do what everyone else does. Go to school. I know that look. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing's wrong. Earth's great. It's just... the idea of school reminds me of home. I miss my family, Zoe. I miss our way of life. It's all so different here. I know. That's what makes it so exciting. I wish I could just tell everyone we're okay. We're so far away. They don't even know where we are. Kiki, stop worrying. Everything will be all right. There has to be a way to contact home. And if there is, we will find it. It's going to be fine. Just act normal and keep a low profile and whatever you do, don't, don't say anything. I know. <laughs> Funny stuff, Brandon. What are you, 12? Thought that might help. Just in case the aliens come to get you. <laughs> You're such an idiot.
Oh, oh, relax. We should talk out our differences. Or you could just shoot me with your ray gun. <laughs> hey! You guys know this karate class is after school? You should try out. Didn't think so. Now go on, get to class. Why was Brandon being so mean to Luca? They're teenage boys. All testosterone and no brains. Forget about them. But Luca's not like that, is he? No, he's not. Of course our textbooks will still be out of date, but who cares when we've got this, right? Our very own satellite dish. The hope is you'll all be wooed by the allure of science. Forget about lipstick and surf magazines. Right, who can tell me a fundamental problem with satellites? Hey, Luca, why don't you ask one of your little green friends? What's that, Brandon? You want to explain the theory of relativity to the class? Me, sir. Uh, no, sir. Einstein's theory of relativity. Simply put, the faster you go, the slower time goes. Now, this means our satellites speeding through space will eventually be out of sync with our clocks back here on Earth. Is that clear? That's incorrect. It's Zoe, isn't it? Um, you have something you want to add? Relativity all depends on your point of view. Time only seems to run slower on the satellites relative to Earth. I beg to differ. Well, you could, but you'd still be incorrect. Excuse me? It's not that hard. I could show you if you want. No, thank you, but I get paid to teach you, not the other way around. Sit down. What was that? Just trying to help. Trust me, you're not. He's got no idea. I bet he's never even heard about the seventh rule of universal warp drive. No one's heard about that, okay? I'm sorry, Amber. He was clearly wrong. It doesn't matter. You're meant to be blending in, remember? Try not to attract so much attention. I said I'll try. Amber, I've been meaning to speak with you. Sir, have I done something wrong? I've been going through your workbook. You've been struggling all year. Right. Sorry, I've had a lot on my mind lately. I understand. You know, I was a teenager once myself, you know. Life can be pretty complicated. You could say that. But you need to put in the effort. And less surfing, more books, right? Right. That was cool. In class, what you did to Mr. P. Oh, that. I didn't mean it that way. Listen, why don't you and me ditch school and hit the beach? Sounds exciting. Cool. So you're in. No. That would attract attention. So, how are you finding Lightning Point High? I like it very much. I like the people. I like you too, Luca. What she means is she's just having a good time. Kiki, you can't just tell a boy you like him. But I do. I like you too, Amber. That's not what I mean. You've been trying to fix that for weeks. It's never going to work. I've almost got it. Five point eight KVA petrol engine. Mm -hmm. You know about engines? Just from what I've read. Internal combustion. Pretty simple, really. But loud and dirty. Basic technology, huh? Well, why can't I get it to work? So? Is Brennan always that mean to you? Forget it, it's nothing. Just a little sibling rivalry. I don't understand. Isn't your brother meant to support you? 
Look, Brandon sees everything from his own point of view. All he cares about is surfing and riding quads. I'm different. I've got a brain. It's got to be more to life than just hanging out at the beach, right? Right. Oh, sorry about all the mess. I forget to clean up sometimes when I'm busy. I don't mind. I'm the same. When I'm working on something, that's all I think about. The guys at school think I'm weird because of all this stuff. But you know what? I don't care. So, do you think I'm weird? Kiki? Exactly how much do you know about aliens? How much do you want to know? The universe is a big place. Yeah. Okay, so check this out. There's a lot of junk out there on the internet. Fake sightings, hoaxes. Some people just want to make a name for themselves. But then there's... this. Roswell. Mexico. You can't tell me that that doesn't look real. I've got to go. Kiki, well, wait. I'm sorry. Forget about all this stuff, but... Where were you? We've been waiting for you. I went to see someone. Luca. Kiki, you can't go over there. You know what he thinks about aliens. I know. I just wanted to see if he was okay. He's getting teased because of us. I feel responsible. He'll deal with it. He always has. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. Working late? I'll never understand this stuff. Yes, you will. If you try. I have tried. I've tried all year. Everyone thinks I've been out surfing and forgetting the books, but I've worked really hard and I still don't get it. Amber, we mastered Earth Science on Lumina before we came. If you need help, just ask. Just me. Where's Amber? Homework. It's nice. I think I've really been able to help her. Well, don't get too comfortable. We're going home. What? It's a signal. Zoe, you know that won't work. We're too far out. The plasma card doesn't have that kind of range. Unless we boost the power? The school satellite dish. That thing. It's useless. It doesn't have enough power to burn toast. I know, it's primitive. But there are a thousand more satellites orbiting this planet. So if I can connect them all together... We could increase the power. The signal's not a frequency used by humans, but anyone back home could easily work it out. You've thought about this a lot, haven't you? Better get some sleep. School tomorrow. I've never been here so early in my life. I thought you guys weren't interested in school. Things change. I'll catch up with you later. Don't look so worried. We travelled 42 light years to get here. I think she can find her way to the classroom.
Actually, Amber's been doing some extra work. She's ahead two whole chapters. Is that so? Um, yeah, you can check if you like. Impressive. This is all your own work. Uh-huh. How about you run me through your numbers? Should be glad to. Any problems? No. Looks like this is going to work. We're going home. Okay, class. Today, I want to share with you a little story. All it took was a bit of hard work and forgetting about life's little distractions. Amber. Yes, sir? How do you explain this? Excuse me? Your work was first rate. Maybe you could read some of your work on chapter 12 to the class? See? I knew you could do it. Um, OK. Chapter 12. Sir? No distractions. Keep going. Uh, the curvature of the space-time continuum is well known, but only recently has it been uh, described. Sir. Not now, Luca. Ah, uh -uh. really? What is wrong with a teenage mind? It can't concentrate for five seconds. Luca, go see what the problem is. The rest of you, pay attention. Using a simple thought experiment in accelerating frame of reference. <laughs> If C is a constant for the speed of light, then T... Thanks, Amber. That's enough for now. Look, what is going on out there? It's the weirdest thing, sir. Dogs. Heaps of them. They're all barking. Barking at what? At the satellite dish. Class, open up your books to Chapter 12. Read up. I'll test you later. Amber, what do you know about dogs? Do they normally bark at satellite dishes? No. Wait a sec. Did you guys do anything out of this world? We sent a homing signal using the dish. You what? We were trying to contact home. I increased the power output so the signal can reach Lumina. You sent a signal? What if it gets picked up here on Earth? Don't worry. We disguised it. Only people on Lumina will know what it means. And the frequency is undetectable to human ears. You do know that dogs can hear more frequencies than people? No. We didn't read that file. That explains it. The dogs can hear the signal. Will Mr. Phillips find anything? The plasma card. Let's go! Let's go check it out! Stay inside. Okay, you lot don't move. Luca, come with me. Hey, isn't that Piper? Oh no. <laughs> Be working perfectly. I believe this is yours. Mm. 
Hi. Hi. That was strange today, huh? Why would we make all those dogs do that? Who knows? Does it matter? Of course it matters. Unexplained things keep happening in this town and no one seems to care. A am I the only person that thinks that this is odd? Sorry. I get worked up. Look, uh, about yesterday, I want to apologise. All that stuff about aliens. Can we just forget about it, please? <sighs> you must think I'm weird. I don't think you're weird. And for what it's worth, you're right. The universe is a big place. Who knows what's out there? You were lucky. Please, next time, tell me when you come up with a plan. I'm here to help you. You're right, Amber. We're sorry. Yeah. We'll tell you next time. Good. And thanks, Kiki. I was failing big time without you. Glad to help. I know the signal was only on for a short time, but it could have worked. They could be on their way to Earth already. Right? It wasn't on for long enough. Nobody would have noticed it. I'm sorry, Kiki. I thought I had it all worked out. But I don't. I shouldn't have talked you into coming here. We'll be okay. But we're stranded. I know. But we'll figure something out. After all, Earth's not so bad. 